If you guys don't know, lately I've been reacting to a lot of my reactions that I normally watch on Twitch. So I've been doing it live, and so this one in particular, we just watched a very, very hype episode of Black Clover, and now we're going from ultimate hype to ultimate depression, so I really don't know how to feel going into this. I am excited, I am nervous. Like I said, I don't know. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with 86, episode 15 and 16. The last episode was the Eugene episode. I'll leave it at that. We all know what I'm talking about. Great man. I got a comment on Patreon that... I get a lot of comments on Patreon and on YouTube that let me know a lot of the details and a lot of the subtleties of the show. And one of the big things was of how Eugene specifically affected Shin because he is an aspiring, respectable older brother, just like Shorei, who is one of the biggest influence on Shin's life. And he's also a dedicated, hardworking Alba, just like Lena. So two of the biggest inspirations, not, I mean, inspiration's a broad word. Two of the biggest people in Shin's life wrapped up into one person. Uh, and that just makes it even more depressing what happened. And oh my God. With that being said, I gotta hop into these episodes. I don't even know what else to say. Oh, I am excited. Don't forget if you guys want to watch this live with me over on Twitch, we are live right now. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius, full uncut and great community, great vibes. Also available on the Patreon is early access and full length for episodes as well. Links are in the description down below for that and all the other social medias, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop into this. 86 episodes 15 and 16. The first one is called Welcome Back. Let's do this. He can have Fido sign all of his paper for him. Yeah, it says Lieutenant Chine. Yeah, they're not even at... Wow, they've been separated for a good grip. Uh-oh. That sounds like it's gonna be bad for the squad. And never is good. He has a cool looking eye patch though. A large scale legion attack. Oh, Greta is still alive. Okay, they said that Shin superiors died, but they're talking about past superiors when he was a part of the Republic. Okay, so Greta is still alive. I appreciate that. I, yep. I'm, okay, that's a fair rebuttal. Okay, okay. Consider it a filtering process. I do like how they genuinely feel like that, though. But they don't want to be bad people. They're fighting this war to be good people, you know? He most definitely does. He just... He just goes through it, you know? His own way. I think he was thinking of Eugene, or if that... Whether that was particularly, they could have been Eugene, but look at this girl, Frederica. <laughs> she gives me such Taiga vibes from Torador, it's so crazy. <laughs> hey, Anju and Theo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. No true lady. She's funny. That's what I'm saying. What up, girl? Long time no see, Karina. That is hilarious. Damn, Marcel got hit hard too. The 177th Division Command Post. That's a dope looking base, I won't lie. <laughs> 
I mean, we used to call him Juggernaut, so I still call him Juggernaut. So I'm kind of on Team Shin right now. Come on. They're aluminum coffins. Slightly better than that one's the Republic had. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've said that multiple times. Pilot safety was not thought about at all in those. Yeah, they they were able to sneak past the training stage where everyone dies, and now they're just experienced to not die, you know? Back then, it was all they were given. They had no other choice. But now... So she was at one point on the front lines as well. Ten years ago, wow. Makes sense why she wouldn't want that for him, you know? I get why she has a personal interest in making these prototypes and wanting to use them to their maximum efficiency. She has many friends who have died before. I like that. Not that I like that her friends died, but I like her personal interests, you know. <laughs> the other surrounding nations as well as... Oh, I was about to say have all like... Like, what does that mean? And what would... Because if I remember correctly... In terms of our relationship, technically, with the Republic of San Magnolia, we kind of abandoned our post, right? We kind of just said, fuck it, and kind of went to find our freedom. Am I... Because technically, their squad is sent to die. It's been admitted by both sides. 86ers, especially the Spearhead unit, sent to their death. So they said, fuck it, let's go find our freedom. And so if they were able to get a message to the San Magnolia, like, hey, we have six of your pilot, like, I wonder... There's no extradition. What, I wonder what would happen from that. Shin's more accurate than your guys' scouts. Yeah. No, your analysts are not as accurate as Shin. Nope. If it's a show like 86 and you don't need to be worried, be double worried. Ah, <sighs> well... Welcome back. This is most definitely feels like a welcome back. I am most definitely nervous but excited at the same time. He's a he's a low key assassin. He can't do it. This is his room. Okay. Looks like an army barracks. I can't lie. I also agree with that. Get some anime figures back there or something. You know. Hmm. So sad. True. Truthfully believe that. And with that picture as well. I also get where Shin's coming from. As a big brother, you know. I, I as you know, Mr. Kind and Gentle Reaper, yeah. Or as funny you should you know, it's super complicated. Super comp, but I get it. I get it. He truthfully feels bad about... <laughs> Kiri's the name of her knight that they're trying to kill, right? Her old right hand? Oh, he was a member of the Nozan clan specifically as well. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious and it's crazy to think he's still out there you know i get her personal motivations for wanting to fight till the end to uh <laughs> i could totally actually see that happen which would be hilarious you know i could literally see it you know <laughs> And this is what they were talking about at the beginning of the show, the Legion turned on you guys? Damn. 
おかしくなっていったやがて家族も知り合いもしない That is very sad だった故郷は今や敵地おそらくリリアは泣くしすぎたのである I like this shot with Shin being in the reflection of the window with the flashing red lights you know Kind of symbolizing allegiance. It's, it's interesting. So they recycled him. And now it makes sense why he's in the mind mental state that he's in, you know? He didn't even run. Wow. Yeah. Technically, I totally see why she feels that guilt, you know? I turned him into that monster. With the shot of the spider web with the insect caught in it, you know? I get. I get where she's coming from, but he's not going to do that. Humans are such fragile creatures, you know. So, it seems like she's having a change of heart about this. But, that is a sad truth of the matter. He really has never thought about his future. Yep. My girl, Lena. And he said the exact same thing. Even your heart is dreary. I didn't know Raiden told him that. Yes, understandably. I get it. <laughs> that Lena used to call? Yeah. Man, a lot of deep discussions. I understand. That was the end? Alright, on to episode 16. I, I believe this one's called Even So. Let's do it. It's a beautiful starry night with a legion. Is this Kiri? Is this Kiria? We will now begin full scale combat operations. So, like they were predicting, they have targets every everyone's their target. Okay, the the the, the war <laughs> the war is starting. We are doing it. The battle is starting. Mm-hmm. August 28th. It's been a whole month. Wow. Wow, yeah, he's kind of freaked. Really? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is full-blown crazy. Oh, Shin's legitimately spooked. He is not caring about any sort of punishments. He wants these guys to know shit is coming. Stop talking and get okay. Talk about waking up the military. Was that note from Frederica? Well, who was that note from? It's the only one I could think of doing a note like that. That is a dope looking sniper, but that is a crazy looking sight. Just metallicness over the horizon. Oh my goodness. Here comes the long range airstrikes. This is exactly what Shin was trying to tell you last episode, but you said no, your analysts are on top of it. This sort of attack is certain to have... Here comes our boys! The 86ers! Let's save them! Oh no! Here we go, come on, let's do some work. Good shot. Ooh, and it's Shin himself. This is exactly what a highly experienced, very mobile squad can do. So let's see him in action. Oh, 
So this is Norlick squad, huh? Okay, Anju. Talk about a missile barrage. That reminds me of the Iron Man missile, the Jericho from Iron Man 1. That was dope. And she's like a long range sniper slash mortar. I love it with her like VR. Oh, I love the sound of that. Oh my God, Kurain is a sniper. All right, Theo riding time. This man's over here b-hopping like we're in CSGO. We're super mobile, super quick, super destructive, super offensive. I love it. Those blades, the guns, the backup. Hell yeah. Don't make fight. Yeah. I respect them. Don't make Fido. Come on. We got to support Fido to support them to support everyone. Talk about a firing squad. Come on. Way too clean. Oh, ho, ho. and yeah. Looks like we're just getting started. So what is she specifically seeing right now? Is this Kiri's POV? What is this? Is this one? Is this the future? Is this the West? Is this collapsing? I wish there was a kill count of how many people our squad has killed. Their, their numbers have to be insane. They are monsters. What is he not there? What are you doing, Shine? You can see what he's doing. You have a physical POV shot of it. What? Is he seeing the same sort of smile on Shin that he, she used to see on Kyria? Oh, that glass barely cutting his cheek. I don't like that smile at all. Yeah, see? It reminds her of Kiri. Yeah. What that does to you and to your person, to your mental, to your soul, cannot be good to you. But look, this man is a literal menace. Talk about a beautiful shot. <laughs> that was one of the most intense scenes in this show. She's so worried about Shin. That shot going right through the symbolism in the show is crazy. Oh, that's horribly sad. R.I.P., man. Before he can get recycled like the Legion wants, he... Oh, is that like an actual alarm? The Grand Mirror? Okay, the Bloody Queen is going at it. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jerome? Let us do our work. I'm trying to save this. That might be the craziest thing I've ever heard. I get it. Otherwise, she won't be fulfilling her promise. Yeah. I like that. I like that. 
Okay, Jerome's actually letting her. That actually shocks me. He was very adamant about not letting... Oh, wow. Jesus. I get where he's coming from, especially coming... Oh, wow, he's going? Okay, Jerome. I get where he's coming from. He's saying this as a blunt, tough love kind of thing, especially coming from the brother of someone who was ideally like Lena and got killed for it. So he's trying to protect her, like he's saying. But it's it's such so complicated, man. You can't, you know. I respect that as well. He's doing what he thinks is right. Jerome, I have disagreed with you on many, many, many things. But I agree with this statement. All processors. Boom. Look at the best handler there is out there. <laughs> Bloody Regina to all processors. They're going to know exactly who, who's talking to. Cyclops is like, look at this bitch. Look at this girl. I kind of got goosebumps right now. I can't lie. Lana kind of going in. Lana's kind of a badass. I won't lie. So the grand mirror is what she saw. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was our current area, like the Confederacy. Oh my god! What the f- I literally just got jump scared like we're playing a fucking horror game. I'm- I'm still kind of shook about that literal last 10 seconds of that episode, but other than that, fantastic episodes. Shouts out to Shin, doing what needs to be done. Shouts out to Frederica, doing what needs to be done. Raiden, Lena, Jerome. There's a lot of characters stuck in very difficult situations not knowing what's the right or the, the the supposed next thing to do because that's life this is war this there's really no right next thing this is really this is really rough it really is like i get frederica's points especially not wanting shin and the rest of them to fight but then they need to fight because they're literally the only hope they have and then shin's literally taking such a mental and physical toll due to him fighting it is very tough it is very tough like i said i disagree I, I personally enjoy 99% of the characters in the show, even though I may disagree with their actions and or decisions they do, but that's human life. I have best friends in real life that I disagree with the things I do all the time. That's that's what humans do. But uh, I am very shook by these episodes, and especially with that ended, with the way 16 ended with <laughs> what seemed to be Kiri attacking Frederica and the rest of them. That was a actual cliffhanger. But then we have Lena ordering all processors into actual, like, like, we're hitting the climax. Like, 17, 18, 19, 20, climax, 21, 22, 23, resolution, maybe season 2, I have no idea. I don't know how this story, that's the thing about the story. It's so unpredictable, so you never know what's coming. I have no predictions, I have no idea where it's going to go. I love that about it. Damn, fantastic episodes, though. Fantastic, fantastic episodes. Uh, crazy action, crazy sadness, thankfully not as sad as last as the Eugene episode, but I know it's only going to get crazy. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to come over here on the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us. Great, absolute, fantastic community, good vibes, great time. Um, don't forget to check out the Patreon if you guys want early access or full length. All the links for everything in the description down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.